Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Unreal Tournament 2003 VTM. My name is Jason Busby, also known as Buzz. And joining me tonight, I've got Mr. Logan Frank, also known as Jayhawk. How's it going tonight, Logan? Going good. All right. Now, this VTM right here is going to be Unreal Script 101, and it's the first in a series of Unreal Script VTMs. And I say it's the first in a series for the simple fact that it would take us... Woo, it would take us many hours to sit here and go over all of the different facets of Unreal Scripting. Isn't that right? That's right. Not only how to get your code up and running, but how to have multiple pieces of code all interacting at the same time with custom contents, and just textures think, and models. And just think, we've probably got somebody out there right now that's completely new to Unreal Script that heard what you just said and said, uh, interacting, complicated, it's too much. Well, at first, Unreal Script may seem very complex, very daunting, but once you get a grasp of programming in an object-oriented programming language, you get a good feel for it, you get a good understanding of the syntax, and you start thinking logically. It's not that bad, is it, Logan? No, not really, once you get an idea of what pieces need to be put together and how they work once they're in-game. Exactly. So uh, you could kind of look at this as being our first step, being us and our viewers out there, in a journey to learn Unreal Script. Of course, we, we happen to know a little bit about it, so it's going to make the journey a little less uh, daunting, if you will, so not to fear. So uh, if any of you out there happen to be an experienced Unreal Script programmer, well, you know, this may be a little bit slow for you, at least this very first VTM, because what we want to do is we want to make things as simple as possible. We want to build that foundation out there for the beginners that have never worked in Unreal Script or perhaps maybe never worked in any sort of programming language whatsoever. So that makes things a little bit challenging on us, of course. Right. I mean, you, at first you have to get a good idea of what it is you're working with. Exactly. And, uh, and it can get pretty deep. Now... Other VTMs to follow will start to become a little bit more sophisticated, and we'll continue building upon that as we get more and more sophisticated. And at that point, some of our experienced Unreal Script programmers out there may start really enjoying some of these VTMs. So I just wanted to kind of get that out right from the very beginning so that we don't have any experienced programmers out there watching this going, why did you guys make this? Well, for the simple fact that there's so many people that would like to get into doing mods where they have to get in there and start modifying scripts or creating completely new scripts and... They need to learn from somewhere. And when we get done, I'll tell you what, Logan, here's, here's my prediction. This is going to be the number one easiest way to go about learning Unreal Script on the net. What do you think? Well, I mean, if you have someone to explain something to you, then uh, that could definitely ease the learning process. And you know how I am. I, I want to make it as clear as possible. If you mention something, I want to make sure it's explained inside out. That's a good thing and sometimes can be a very long-winded thing. I'm just kidding. I'll try to keep it from being, you know, not too bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with probably the most simple question of them all for a beginner that's completely new to Unreal Script, and that is, um, <clears throat> what is Unreal Script? Well, Unreal Script is an object-oriented scripting language, and don't let that frighten you. We're going to talk about object-oriented programming quite a bit. As a matter of fact, we even have one lesson completely dedicated to it coming up on this VTM right here, and by the time you get to the very end of this VTM, you will understand what object-oriented programming is. But it is indeed an object-oriented scripting language, and for those of you out there with some programming experience, perhaps from high school or from you know college or university or even just playing around on the net, uh, you may... Uh, it may be good for you to know, just uh, Unreal Script is very similar to C++, Java, JavaScript. So the syntax, very close. Uh, if you are familiar in working in those languages but you've never worked in Unreal Script before, it's not a problem to just easily transfer your skill set right over. Right. I mean, you'll already have a good idea of how to set up certain logical conditions and stuff like that. Absolutely. So uh, the next thing, if I was completely new to Unreal Script, uh, after you told me what it was, and I probably just didn't understand anything that... I just said. The next thing would be, well, what can you use Unreal Script for? Or what is it used for? Well, basically, it's used for controlling the game. When you fire up Unreal Tournament 2003 and you go in, you start playing with zero modifications whatsoever. You just, you know, you went out to the store, you bought the game, you installed it, and you go and you're now playing the game. Just about every single thing that you see going on is Unreal Script. It's just a series of scripts that are all running. 
Uh, now, in regards to the actual pixels that you see on the screen, that's different. And we'll talk a little bit about the difference between Unreal Script and the pure Unreal Engine in just a minute. But you see all of these bots running around. They're firing at you. They have projectiles coming out of their guns, colliding with you, or vice versa if you're taking care of the bots. You've got things that can be destroyed. You've got sounds that can be triggered. You've got movers to interact with, uh, different uh, particle systems. There's a lot of different things. Basically, it's all interaction that is occurring inside the game, uh, be it a single-player game, be it a net game, it doesn't matter. Uh, all of this is being controlled by Unreal Scripts. Right, it's anything that uh, that you can interact with, anything that can be moved around inside the game. And that's just looking at what Unreal Script is used for, talking about it in a general sense in regards to the game. Now, why is it good for us? Well, <laughs> basically... Uh, we can modify the game. How about that? <laughs> Is that simple Instead enough? The game, right? You can go in there, and uh, you've—I mean—you've seen just in the game itself how you can go in and customize stuff with mutators. Once you get into Unreal Script, you can write—you can write those mutators. Now, for those of you, uh, okay, absolutely, I see what you're getting at. But let me add this. Let me let me see if I can make it for a complete beginner out there very easy. Uh, modifying the game means uh, things such as as simple as modifying a weapon. We can change the way a weapon fires. As a matter of fact, Logan, we're going to do that later on in this VTM here. We'll take the shock rifle and we'll change it into a concussion rifle. Make it a nice annoying little weapon that as opposed to damaging people, it'll just knock them 50, 60 feet, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, so we'll actually do that in this VTM here, but you know, it can be as simple as modifying a weapon to as complex as creating a completely new game type. And when I say new game type, I mean something that includes new enemy types, and we mean... Now, this is not just script. I mean, there's also, of course, creating the models that you're going to have. I mean, if you've got a new character in the game, that, that model's got to be created somewhere. So it does require an understanding of another 3D animation package in order to go about building the character that's going to be brought in. But again, in regards to everything in the scene that, that's moving around, that's got to think on its own, that's got to be interacted with, Unreal Script has half... I mean, you've got to have a series of Unreal Scripts there to control it. So, I mean, we can have completely new enemies that have completely new AI. I mean, you can write your own AI, right? Right, or extend the bots. If you were to make a new a new game type, new objectives, you can extend the AI to be able to cope with those objectives and, and play your new game type. Absolutely, and, and then to push the whole new game concept even further, you can create new weapons. So now you've got new monsters or new enemies running around that are now thinking differently than the way that the bots thought when you first installed Unreal Tournament 2003, and now you've got new weapons. Uh, you can, I mean, there's just, I mean, you can even go as far as creating a new set of rules for how the game is played, new objectives. That's right. Okay, so uh, the bottom line is uh, Unreal Script is used for controlling pretty much everything above the low-level rendering and networking code. Okay, so, um, I mean, anything that can be interacted with, spawned, moved, etc. So that kind of leads us to the point of, of saying, from a very simplistic point of view, you can take Unreal Tournament and divide it up into two categories. Basically, you have the engine, which is, you know, that's running kind of down at the old bits level, if you will, the old ones and zeros. It's, uh, it's bits and pixels. I mean, it's controlling what you're going to see on the screen in regards to basically how the screen is being drawn. Does that make sense? Right. It's in charge of taking um, all the, the graphical information and interacting with the video card to display everything. And not the, not just that. We've got sound as well, basically right. how that information is going to get pumped out. Your sound card, um, input devices, uh, the, the mouse, the uh, the keyboard, etc. And that's, that's all very low-level stuff. And that's not stuff that you need to really go in and start modifying to create a new game. Okay? So all because you don't have access to that, unless, of course, you want to go out and... Uh, actually lease the engine, then that's a whole different thing. But that you don't have to have that to create what feels like a completely new game. Right, Logan? Right. I mean, you can go in there, you can change uh, all the game rules. You can make a game that's based on, uh, it could be based on a different form of single player. It could be, like, ex extended however you want. And then built upon that, you can have all your own custom guns all working uh, off of totally new principles to find yeah. how new bullets, how fast they go, what happens when they hit something, and so on. Exactly. So outside of just you know how the screen's being drawn, how the sounds being pumped out, etc., which is all handled by the engine, Unreal Script is it's all object interaction. It's it's basically everything else that's going on. All object interaction and game rules. I mean, it's just it's literally just about everything. So um, so let's go ahead now and, and shift gears. We're talking about 
playing the game, running around. You're seeing all these characters running around. Uh, if you want to look at it like this, you could say that a, the game is made up of a bunch of objects, right, Logan? That's right. And these objects are generally known as actors. That's right. The ones you would see and interact with, or what that would be moving around in a game, would be known as actors. Exactly. And actors are usually under player control or under Unreal script control. It goes back to the whole idea a little bit earlier of talking about anything that's running around. I mean, if you want to bring in something new that is, let's say, not going to be under a player's control, and perhaps it's uh, some sort of machine, or I'm trying to stay away from a character for the simple fact that we've already used a character a few times, or some sort of new object, and you're going to have it move around or interact with players in the scene. I mean, then if it's not under player control, then it is under Unreal Script control, period. For example, if you're making a single-player mod or just a decoration, you can make a little rabbit that ran around the screen. All right. Obviously, you wouldn't be controlling that, but it would be able to move around, try to run away from you, and so on. Exactly. So, um, so with that, that kind of brings us into a whole new realm of thought, and that is, wow, so every single actor that's in the game has got some sort of script running or scripts running? That's right. Hmm. So let's say I'm playing some sort of death match or capture the flag, and I've got maybe eight different bots in there. Now, how does Unreal go about running all these scripts? I mean, is it running them at the same time? Is it multi-threaded? I mean... For those out there that don't know what multi-threaded means, it's basically Windows' capability of running two threads at once or, or multiple threads at one time uh, where you get a multitasking capability. Basically, you can, in its most simplistic form for somebody who is not really technical savvy, you could just say that it's like running two applications simultaneously. That's right. So now, Unreal Script. We've got this bot's running towards me. He's thinking. He's firing. He's got a projectile. That projectile's got scripts executing as well. I've got scripts executing. There's all these scripts running. Now, they all run at the same time, don't they? That's right. Do so you want to talk about that a little bit? That means that if one bot is in the middle of deciding how far ahead of you it needs to lead before it fires, at the same time, another bot can be deciding where to run or what path to do. At the same time, your own weapon is firing, and that's all happening totally independent. Uh, the, uh, the time it takes for one bot to decide where to go or what to shoot at doesn't eat into how long it takes before you, uh, fire, say, fire a weapon. All that runs independently. Now, the interesting thing is uh, they do not make use of Windows' actual multi-threaded capability. Right, because that would kind of get inefficient with the, uh, I mean, possible. Well, there could the possibly be thousands of actors in a scene all running at the same time. Exactly. Actually, as um, as said once before, that you know it is extremely inefficient, and there's then there are thousands of scripts that are are basically simulated threads, if you will, that need to execute all at the same time or in parallel. And this, this Windows is just not efficient enough to go about handling that. So. Unreal itself does a really cool job of basically simulating thread execution and right, running these it. threads in parallel. So it's just something interesting to know to put in the back of your head that for a beginner that's getting into Unreal Script, when you start programming stuff, don't think that you know while your code is executing, everything else in the game comes to a halt. It doesn't work like that. It's all executing at the same time. And a little bit later on when VTMs start becoming a little bit more complex, we'll get into where we start talking about ticks and time and basically how that stuff splits up, which, is, which gets very interesting at that point. Uh, and there is time. There are times when you're going to want certain things within an Unreal script to actually hold up for a certain amount of time. Right. You may have to wait for something to occur, like wait for... Um, an animation for, to end, perhaps. Wait for an animation to end, wait for a certain amount of time before your gun can refire and stuff like that. Exactly. So we ha do have latent capabilities inside Unreal script, and we'll, and we'll get into that deeper. That's later. right. It, it's just that it holds up just one thing that you're currently interacting with, one actor. Everything else is still allowed to run, uh, run normally. Exactly. So... With that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk just a little bit about how this VTM is going to be structured. Okay, So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to talk about object-oriented programming. We're going to talk about Unreal Script workflow. We're going to talk about creating new packages. Packages become an incredible, mm, let's see, mm, let's not use the word incredible, 
a very integral part of the whole thing. Basically, everything stored in packages. Right, it's, it's how um, your content is put together in the end. Exactly. So we're going to go about showing you guys how to create packages. And we wanted to make this VTM a little bit interesting. So while one package will simply cr uh, contain just code, we're going to show you another package that we'll create from ground up that will contain a very basic object that will be modeled in another 3D application. Very basic. Uh, we'll then bring it in. We'll have some custom sound, uh, custom texture, and we'll mix it with some custom code, and we'll blend all of that together and make it available inside the game. And then from there, we're going to do uh, or take a look at creating our first mod. This is You could almost look at this as a mini mod, if you will. Uh, we'll, we'll just take the, the shock rifle, and we're going to modify its fire capabilities so that we can basically convert it into what we are calling a concussion rifle. Right, basically just showing how to go in and change a certain aspect of the game and and how you would actually go in the, and use it or how you would see it. I mean, it's not going to be integrated to the point of having a button you can click in the menu, right. but it will be something you can see in the level, pick up, and use. Exactly. So, I mean, we got to start from somewhere. And so with that, that's kind of a, a very general overview as to what Unreal Script is, what it's used for, kind of how it works with the Unreal Engine itself, and um, where we're going to be going. So with that, Logan, let's go ahead and get started with this VTM. Sounds great. All right.